Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10 minute talks that give a high level overview or an in depth look at a small portion of a PHP related topic. Lightning Talks are a great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for longtime speakers to test drive new talk ideas. If you'd like to give a 10 minute Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Right now we have Alessandro Lai and he's going to talk about bug hunting with Git Bisect. Please make sure you visit Joined In after the talk and leave Alessandro some feedback. Alessandro, I'll pass it over to you. Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to Bug Hunting with Big Git Bisect. Well, I'm Alessandro Lai, and I'm a PHP developer at Fashlet.it. We are a web company based in Italy, which uses mainly PHP for its technological stack. Well, the argument of today is the Git Bisect command, and the better place to start is the Git documentation. It starts with, this command uses a binary search algorithm to find which commit in your project's history introduced a bug. Well, that sounds pretty awesome, but what is a binary search algorithm? Well, basically, it's a search algorithm that can be used on an ordered list or array. Emphasis on ordered, obviously. To show how that works, I will show you an easy example, which is searching for the number four inside an easy interval of numbers between one and nine. So let's start with our interval. And we need to start with a search area uh, to place some boundaries around our numbers. So we place a left boundary over the number one and a right boundary over the number nine. In each step, in each iteration of this algorithm, we need to place a cursor in the middle of our search area. So in this case, we place that over the number five. In each step, we need to decide if the cursor is after or before what we are searching for. So in this case, we are after and we need to move to the left. We split in half our search area and we move our right boundary over the cursor. So we do that, we remove the cursor and we place that, place that another time in the middle of our search area, in this case over the number three. And we repeat that step. So in this case we are before what we are searching for, we move our left boundary and we replace the cursor in the middle once again. Only this time we are already over the number four, so we have found what we are searching for. Obviously, this example is pretty trivial, but this was used just to show you how that is powerful and fast. With the git by set command, that is useful because we search over a commit history of one, one branch. And that gives for us for granted also the order, because the order is time, the order of commits inside the history. We need just one little piece of information. We decide if our cursor is after or before what you're searching for. We don't know what you're searching for. We are, find, we are trying to find what commit introduced the bug. Well, you have to decide that. And you can decide that just in many ways. You can have a manual inspection. You can refresh a page of your project that shows the bug if it's present, or even use an automatic test, like a PHP unit test that basically goes red if the bug is present. So you just have to, to do that in, to find your bug. Let's see how that came useful in my use case. At Facile, I am the main maintainer for an Onopersus project, which is called ParaUnit. It's basically a tool that helps you run in multiple PHP unit tests to have faster test builds. I built that with Symfony components because I mainly work with Symfony, and I used that in two different projects. One big project based on Symfony 2.8, and one smaller, newer project, which is based on Symfony 3.0. For those of you who didn't know, the 2.8 version is the same of the tree because the 2.8 is just a bridge between 2 and 3 and has the same code base, just has in addition all the deprecated codes. So it received the same patches. Why this is relevant for me? Well, basically because a few months ago I tried to upgrade to the latest patch, which was the fourth, and I started having strange behaviors on both projects. I started having functional tests failing at random and I didn't know what was the cause, but I was sure that something in the patch was triggering a bug, probably something that I did wrong in my project. I wasn't sure how to find the bug because I wasn't able to reproduce the, the issue outside my projects. And so at the end, I decided that the only way to go was to debug it from my vendor folder inside my projects. That sounds hard, but in reality, it's really easy to do. I just had to remove my Symfony folder from the vendor and reinstall it using Composer with the dash dash prefer dash source option. In this way, Composer prefers to install the dependency using a full git clone of the project, of the dependency, and it does, and doesn't avoid to use, uh, a, for example, a full package, uh, a full package of, of the dependency. 
So in this way, I'm able to use Git commands inside the Symfony folder. So to start bisecting, I just had to go inside the Symfony folder and issue the command git bisect start. In this case, I'm telling git that I start bisecting. I have now to place the boundaries that I talked before. So I check out the point three version using the tag and I issue the command git bisect good. In this way, I'm telling git that this commit, the current commit, is good. It doesn't contain the bug. Now I had to place the other boundary, the one on the right, so I check out the point four version, and I issue the command git bisect bad. So it tells me bisecting. 154 revision left to test after this, roughly seven steps. So I have to search for more than 150 commits, but it tells me that with probably seven steps, the algorithm, the algorithm is able to find the, the culprit, the commit that contains the, the bag. So I can try to go over, and moving forward, I just have to issue git bisect bad or good command. So in this way, with a few steps, in the last step, I get this information. I get the hash of the commit, which is the culprit. I get all the information, so the author, the time, and the comment of the commit. And I can dig further to know why the bug is there. If you don't like the good and bad uh, words, you can use all the new, which are built in in the git command. And you just have to remember that you don't have to mix those terms. So you can use git bisect terms to get a reminder of what, what terms are using in the, in, the current, uh, in the current session. So you can also define your own terms, for example, using the term old and the term new options with the git bisect star command. In my example, I use the fast and slow terms because maybe you're searching for a change in performance instead of a bug. So you have probably, instead of a test, a benchmark. You can also do manual checkouts while bisecting because probably you know in advance that some commit is good or bad, so you can you know skip some steps in this way, or you can even do a manual skip using the command git bisect skip. I had to do that a lot because between uh, releases in Symfony, I found many commits that were simply broken, so I wasn't able to run tests to find the bug. If you do too much skipping and that happened to me, that's how what you get. So you uh, get all the ashes of the commit, Git tells you the first bad commit could be any of these, and you have to search manually in, in this commit to find the difference, the diff that may cause the, the bug. In my case, I was left with just eight commits, which is a lot less than 150, obviously, and also I was very lucky because half of them were just uh, merge commits, so I just had to look for four diffs. And that's all. Thank you for your attention, and please rate my talk on Joined In. You can find my slides there. Thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Please make sure you visit Joined In and leave Alessandro some feedback.